Hello, everyone. Welcome to Save News TV. Thank you so much for joining us. This is what's going on in Israel. And of course, we have Callie Mitchell here. How are you doing today, Callie? I'm great. We've had a really fun, snowy day. Good, good. I know you normally don't get snow in Jerusalem, do you? That's right. No, we don't. This is a rare treat for us. And you, um, you went to Old City, Jerusalem. Tell us a little bit about that and and all of that and then we're going to at the end we'll show the videos that uh you supplied us with with your trek there with the beautiful snow you and yeah. aviel and oh i got to tell us about <laughs> it callie yeah so it started snowing last night and i actually they were calling for between 10 and 20 centimeters and i was pretty skeptical i was like sure we're not gonna get that much um, and it started snowing last night after dinner and it was accumulating. We went outside and looked at it. And then um, through the night, they were snow plowing the street and putting the salt down. It was pretty loud. Um, so my kids got up early this morning and when it, they were out by about seven in the morning playing. And then um, I got up a little slower. I was with, with the two year old. Um, so we were a little bit slower to get ready and, but we left the house at 8.30, Aviel and I, and we trekked down to the old city from, from our house. Um, we can walk there from here. It's about 40 minutes. And of course the old city of Jerusalem is the walled off city. That's the ancient Jerusalem. And then we live in the modern part of the city, um, which was established later on, like in the last century. <laughs> um, so we, uh, we trekked all the way down there um, together. It took about 40 minutes. Um, we did a few videos. I wasn't sure if we were gonna make it all the way down to the Kotel, which is the Wailing Wall, the Western Wall, um, because uh, our feet were getting so wet. <laughs> <laughs> and we were walking through rain. Um, well, I don't know if it was rain. It was like a wintry mix. So part mm -hmm. of the time we were in this wintry mix um, headed down there. And uh, I just wasn't sure if we were we were gonna make it, but we did. We got all the way down. Um, we didn't, yeah, we didn't make it all the way to the wall. Uh, I was hoping we would, but the um, regular entry was closed off. So we were gonna have to go a longer route and our feet were so wet that Aviel would just, he couldn't do anymore. So I was like, okay, this is good enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, how far is that, Callie? How far is it? From where you're at. Um, it's not far. Um, I don't even know if I could tell, tell you how far exactly. How, how long did it take you to get there? About 40 minutes with it. Well, that's, few... that's pretty, that's a good distance then. Yeah, yeah. But I guess, you know, we're pedestrians, so we walk all the time anyway. But that was also walking with stopping, you know, like if Aviel saw a big, um, pile of snow from the snowplow. He was going to climb it <laughs> and make snowballs and he roll said he's going to make this trip worth his time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then we got to the, to the, um, top of the, um, old city, right. As you head down from city center where we live, it's called city center. Um, and there's a big, I love Jerusalem sign there. So we stopped there for a while. We had to wait our turn to take pictures because there's a bunch of people who want to take pictures on it. Um, so we had to wait our turn and then um, we made a little video while we were there. So, you know, I mean, we took our time a little bit on the walk. So you could probably get down there in 30 minutes if you're walking straight. But usually when we go, we ride the train. So we'll ride the train uh, down two stops from our house and then we get, get off and we walk and it's really easy. But I just figure, you know, we're close enough that we can walk there. And on a snowy day, we should do it because we should see what Jerusalem looks like in the snow. <laughs> yes, yes. No, I'm sure he really can. enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope so. I hope it's not one of those memories where he's like, when I was little, my mom made me walk <laughs> <laughs> uphill both ways in the snow, <laughs> which is really uphill, funny. Uphill, uphill. <laughs> Yeah, but it's really funny though because in Jerusalem you really can walk uphill both ways. Oh wow! <laughs> and today really was in the snow. Wow! <laughs> so, and that's eight. You you all got eight inches of snow, right? Yeah, we did. We got more than twenty centimeters, and I I converted that, and it's definitely eight inches. <laughs> yeah, so I'm that sure was a lot of snow for us. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, Aviel didn't build a couple of snowmen on the way. 
there and stuff because he, he's ingenious yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know what? I think if his feet weren't wet, he probably would have built one somewhere in the old city just to say he did. <laughs> but his feet were so wet. <laughs> so uh, he just was a little uncomfortable. But yeah, snow's really rare for us, though. It doesn't snow here often. We have a Mediterranean climate. So we get precipitation in the winter and then. Um, so it rains here from September until mid-May and then from mid-May until again mid-September it's completely dry there's nothing and in the winter usually the rain that comes is very icy it's a lot of hail and a lot of sleet and sometimes it's almost like horizontal like <laughs> mm. um, it's really intense sometimes in the winter but for the most part winters are pretty mild like maybe 50 degrees usually um, pretty mild winters so when we get snow here, it's a really big deal. You know, it kind of shuts down everything because it's just not, you know, we're not, we're not a snow climate. So when it happens, um, we're not exactly ready. You know, we're not fully prepared for it. And, um, you know, it's just not like, it's not a snow culture. So when it happens, <laughs> it's like everybody gets a little wild. <laughs> like but, snow, you know, snow. Yeah, yeah, I can't exactly. blame it. We do the same thing. I got to yeah. up. Well, we got snow here last weekend. We got four and a half inches, so we didn't get anywhere near what you all got. But I was up at like five, four thirty, five o'clock in the morning, walking out in the snow. Mm. I sent out. you the video. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I, was, I had I had friends posting pictures on Facebook, friends here in Jerusalem, of them posting pictures on their social media of them in the middle of the night up in the snow because I, I think some people weren't sure if it was going to last until morning right um, that's why I said let me get out I was snapping yeah. pictures and then when it got light I went outside and did the video that's the video I sent you but I wasn't yeah. sure because normally honey we get snow it's gone by the time you wake up yeah exactly so yeah. I didn't know what to expect so when, when it started snowing last night. I didn't know if we would wake up and have snow or if we'd wake up and just have mud or what, yes. but we had so much snow. <laughs> well, it is beautiful looking at the pictures and everything and the video that you've sent. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to play that in a few seconds and... Um, we just wanted to come on real briefly today to let everybody know that we have snow in Jerusalem, old Jerusalem city, <laughs> and to share that with you. And thank you again, Callie, for being our, our foot soldier on the ground. And <laughs> Abiel, thank you also. You just, you know, you're a trooper also for getting out there and being a foot soldier for uh, to get that footage. <laughs> He's a safe news cameraman. <laughs> He's a safe cameraman and I love him uh, on the picture so if you all see the picture that is our caption on this you'll see Aviel on the on the letter chilling out taking a picture modeling for us modeling Aviel the model <laughs> I love him so much tell him I said hi and, and thank yeah, you will. and um, but anyway like I said everybody we just came on real briefly we're going to um show the video and um now and we're going to say shabbat shalom hang on for the video say shabbat shalom callie oh, oh sorry <laughs> normally normally callie is on shabbat it with the shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom but she's on the plane today the video. <laughs> i was thinking about the video in the snow <laughs> okay shabbat shalom everyone <laughs> god bless everybody shabbat shalom bye bye snow last night in Jerusalem and it is a lot more snow than I was expecting um, when we saw the forecast they were saying it would be between 10 and 20 centimeters but there's some places where it looks like it could be 30 centimeters or more um, Aviel my oldest uh, my oldest baby <laughs> and I decided to walk down to the old city so we could see how it looks in white we're gonna see if we can make it all the way in depending on how our feet do um, but here we no, are. Be, not beyond Jaffa Gate. <laughs> but here we are in a white Jerusalem. <laughs> hey everyone, we're back again. We made it to the old city. We made it to the Kotel, the Wailing Wall, the Western Wall. Um, <laughs> our feet are really wet. 
Uh, it was a little challenging getting down here, but we did it, Aviel and I. It's a cold day. Um, I wasn't sure if we were going to make it, so I didn't actually prepare anything to say about what we're doing. But you can see behind me, um, you can see the Dome of the Rock, and you can see the Black Dome of the Luxa Mosque, and the um, Mount of Olives, and then the City of David. <laughs> Um, so we made it. Here we are. Old City Jerusalem in the snow. Okay, well, we're going to run home and warm up, and we will see you later.